How can one send an email to 100,000 users on a weekly basis in PHP? This includes mail to subscribers using the following providers. AOL, Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo. It is important that all email actually be delivered, the, the extent that is possible. Obviously, just sending the mail conventionally would do nothing but create problems. Is there a library for PHP that makes this simpler? Short answer, while it's technically possible to send 100,000 emails each week yourself, the simplest, easiest and cheapest solution is to outsource this to one of the companies that specialize in it. I did say cheapest. There's no limit to the amount of development time and therefore money that you can sink into this when trying to DIY. Long answer, if you decide that you absolutely want to do this to yourself, prepare for a world of hurt. After all, this is email slash e-fail. Is there any difference in performance between the conditional operator and the assignment operator? I am writing some pre-save hook middleware in Mongoose, and I'm wondering if there's much of a speed difference between these two blocks of code. Any performance gain is gonna be negligible. Those two examples don't do the same thing, you know. You are running this code once before saving a user in the table. This is like wondering if dropping a bucket of water in the Atlantic Ocean will make ships go faster or something. Thanks for the constructive comments. Basically, it doesn't look like there's much of a difference in the performance. For those wondering about the code, first off, I made a blatant error in my original post. Then when everyone tried to point it out to me, I cried like a girl. That's probably why everyone downvoted. Remove unnecessary information. Hello, Stack Overflow land. I am trying to remove only one element from an inline style. I would like to see this instead. So far, this is what I've tried. Thanks for your help in advance. Have a great day. Hmm. Okay. Um, hello, Stack Overflow land. Have a great day. Removed greeting and thanks in advance. Roll back to revision 3. Roll back to revision 4. Let's rephrase all of this. Added 41 characters, edited tags, edited title. Roll back to revision 1. Roll back to revision 8. Roll back to revision 1. Removal of unnecessary statements, improved formatting, corrected spelling, fixed grammar, removed thanks greeting, roll back to revision 8, closed. Added two characters and body. How can I change an elements class with JavaScript? 
No offense, but it's unclever to change class on the fly, as it forces the CSS interpreter to recalculate the visual presentation of the entire web page. The reason is that it's nearly impossible for the CSS interpreter to know if any inheritance or cascading could be changed. So the short answer is, never ever change class name on the fly. I'm loading an iframe in my HTML page and trying to access the elements within it using JavaScript. But when I try to execute my code, I get the following error. Security error. Blocked a frame with origin HTTP example.com from accessing a cross origin frame. How can I access the elements in the frame? Open the start menu, type Windows R or open run, execute the following command. Chrome.exe disable web security. Terrible for anything that is not a quick and dirty test, and already has been addressed in the accepted answer. Using the clear command on the terminal only fools the user into thinking the screen has been cleared. You can still see output from the previous commands when you scroll using the mouse. This makes life difficult when you're drowning in a tsunami of text. So how do you clear the contents of a terminal in Linux for real? Compile this application. There are better methods than spewing 99 new lines. Is it possible to change the color of the title bar of a win form in C sharp? This is easy to do. Right click on the desktop and select personalize. Click on the window color tile at the bottom of the screen and just choose your new color. If your computer is configured to use the aero theme, you can choose from one of the standard colors or mix one of your own. If you're using the classic theme, you'll see a window color and appearance dialog you can use to set colors. Click on the title bar, the sample desktop, the one called active window, and then use color one and color two drop down boxes to just pick a new color. I can only assume this is what you meant because there is absolutely no excuse to change only the color of your application's title bar. There's a reason that this is a system wide setting. Always obey the user's preferences. If they wanted your title bar to be a different color, then they would choose a different color. When a programmer wants to do something, he slash she has its reasons. The answer cannot be, there is no excuse to want to do that. <sighs> the reasons he, she, it has are wrong or misguided. That is not for you to judge. You are either to help or not help. You can post a comment on this question to tell him your opinion. Your judgment is not a helpful answer.